Hello, hello YouTube. Chash Text back with another great video. And today's video is about a partial popping up issue, which is a fourth video, a series of uh, fourth or part four video, which is I have been making three videos, three videos related with partial popping up. And a lot of you give me support. Thank you for all the support. And some of you are uh, asking me to make another video, which uh, the previous solutions are not working for you. I'm going to show you another uh, six uh, solutions. And if you are new here, please check the previous videos. Maybe all those previous videos may help you to solve your problem related with a portion popping up. So solution number one will be checking the bad sector. So uh, maybe bad sectors on your, your hard drive may cause this kind of a partial popping up. So I made a research on the internet. So I, I got one of the problem related with partial popping up is uh, which is a bad sector. So in order to check the bad sector, here we have a software that will help you to check your bad sector or hard drive bad sector on your computer. So I'll put this link under the description box in a notepad so you can access. So here I have the site on my computer. So you can download from this site using this, which is a partition wizard. So mini tool, it's a mini tool. So select here the download partition wizard and you can download the free edition. And I already download this uh, partition wizard. So you can fix your bad sector or you can check the bad sector inside your computer. So in order to check the bad sector, install the uh, mini tool partition wizard. Then after you install, it will open like this then select the hard drive that you want to investigate. So, which is in my case, let me check the disk one. So right click on it and select surface test. So after you select the surface text, uh, test, then it will give you start now option. So it, it may take uh, time. So I'm not going to uh, process this activity because I already done it. In my case, it processed all this activity yeah, I, I think it takes a, a matter of one hour and it, it showed me surface can complete a normal error found. So if there is error, it will show you a red dot on this green line. So if you find uh, which is a red line, so there is a bad sector on your hard drive. So you need to repair your hard drive. So maybe bad sector can cause this problem. So download this partition wizard and make a, a surface scan and it will give you a confirmation whether this bad sector is causing the pop-up issue or not. So if the bad sector is not causing, then the other solution will be, uh, which is disabling the MX, uh, which is office software from your task scheduler. So on the previous videos, uh, there are some tips that I give you related with task scheduler, but, but on this one, Microsoft Office, which is office background tax handler registration also cause this problem. So open the task scheduler on your computer, which is by clicking the search icon here, type task scheduler. So after you type task scheduler, here the task scheduler opened, then open the task scheduler. But after the task scheduler opened on, on your screen, then click here the drop down arrow and select for microsoft which is here the drop down arrow and under microsoft open office so under the office here we get different uh, office tasks under the uh, task scheduler so find for office background task handler registration so in my case it's not here but in your case you may find office background task handler scheduler. So if you find that uh, specific task, then right click on it and disable it. Disable it. Sorry, this one. Disable that specific, uh, that specific office background task handler. Uh, solution number three will be opening the PowerShell, which is run it as administrator. So uh, which is open the PowerShell here shell so after you type the powershell here you will find windows powershell then right click on it then select run as administrator so select yes 
and it will open your PowerShell. So after the PowerShell opens, then the thing we are going to do is uh, we are going to check if there is any download related with uh, or uh, things that are not related with the Windows. So maybe browsers or some applications are downloading a file in order to update. So if those softwares are downloading some files, it will cause the popping up. So let's check if there is any download. So just select this one. So this will show you the stuff that is being downloaded on your system and its location. So select this command, which is copy and paste it on your PowerShell. So paste, then press enter. So when you press enter, it will show you if there is any software which is downloading on this moment. As you can see, there is no software in my case. So if there is any software which is downloading currently, it will show you under the screen of this PowerShell. So if it's showing you any uh, something, some type of things, then copy this one. Copy this one and paste it on your PowerShell in order to stop all the downloads related with other softwares, which is uh, uh, rela not related with the Windows update. So, so other than the Windows update, it would be stopped to come under the PowerShell. So you can update them manually or through other methods. So stopping them uh, also help you, which is related with the Windows PowerShell pop-up. So then so solution number uh, four will be checking for virus so one of my users recommended me and even it solved as you got, as you are seeing on a screen resolved his his issue that viruses are causing this problem so virus may also cause a PowerShell popping up problem so uh, you can use your windows security in order to stop those problems so here you can type under the search icon and type windows security so after you type windows security here you find the windows security then open the windows security and go to virus and threat protection so under virus and threat protection you will find scan options select the scan option and you can make different types of scans which is quick scan full scan custom scan microsoft defender offline scan so check each of them if you want you can make full scan so maybe viruses are causing this problem so scan your computer and if you got any malware or virus then remove or delete it or move it to the trash can using your uh, windows defender or else you can use a malware byte which is you can download from the internet which is a third party software this one type malware bytes and uh, you can download the malware bytes from the site and which is there is a free uh, free download version so you can download free version and you can scan your computer for virus so viruses uh, may cause this partial popping up problem so uh, solution number five would be uh, uh, which is another solution which came from uh, my user or subscriber of the previous videos which is uh, uninstalling a PowerShell uh, helps them which is as you are seeing on a screen helps them to solve this problem so again click here the search icon so type here optional feature optional features optional features so here we find optional features which is open the optional feature and under the optional uh, under the optional features you will find the powershell option so in the bottom as you can see here windows powershell ic is found then select here the drop down arrow and you can select here uninstall powershell so you can remove your powershell and the popping up will be resolved so you can use also this solution then solution number uh, six will be uh, using the cmd which is uninstall windows powershell using the cmd which is Check the first, you can you should have to open the CMD again, which is click here the search icon, type here CMD, which is here the CMD opened, then right click on it, then open run as administrator, then select here yes, 
then here the CMD opened, then use this command. Use this command. So check if the PowerShell is enabled or not. So first you should have to check, which is copy this command and paste it under your uh, under your CMD, then press enter. So it will tell you whether the PowerShell is enabled or not on your screen. So as you can see here in my case, I already disabled, which is Microsoft PowerShell root is disabled. So uh, in my case, it's already disabled, but in your case, if you want to disable it, if it is showing you enabled, then copy the second one. To disable Windows PowerShell, I have the command line, this one. So, which is, as it says here, disable feature, which is the PowerShell. So again, if you want to enable it back, you can use the last one in order to enable the PowerShell back. I hope this six solution help you to solve the PowerShell popping up issue on your screen. And thank you for all the support that you are giving me. Please subscribe, like, and give me comments on the comment section. Thank you for watching Chash Takeouts.